What's up everybody, I'm Avatage and welcome back to Banished, where we continue to expand. Just basically picking it up where we left off. So these guys have almost finished with this kind of area. God damn it. Bloody trees. Uh, I think that's where it goes. Yeah. Okay. That one tree to go and then we can pop down the last bit of that road and we'll all be connected up. probably put another field in there as well and even fit some houses along here. I'm thinking though putting another hospital in perhaps. What else do we need? We need students. So we've got that covered. Market. We'll need one up that way eventually. Hospital. Although last time when we had that outbreak of dysentery in the last episode as you may or may not remember uh, we didn't really hear, hide, nor hear of it. Like, that citizen eventually made it to the hospital and got cured, and that was that. It wasn't so much an outbreak as it was just someone got dysentery. And I'm cool with that. Uh, I kind of want to see if I can fit a fishing dock in here somewhere. I feel like we should make... Oh, Ooh, hello. I think I should be able to get a road up there. Let's just double check because you never know. No, no, no roads, no. Uh, not at all, not anyway. Tunnels. It's kind of hard because I think this is kind of on a higher plane. Now, I mean, they're walking up. Ah, there we go. Might have to do one over there. Cool, we'll do a tunnel there because we need to utilize this land for something, surely. Otherwise, what are we doing here? Now, food is sitting at 44,000, which is a good 10,000 more than in the last episode. So that's good. Oh, there's a big block of land. Oh. Okay, so this is going to be a bit of a uh, roundabout thing because we've got this ridge of land here. So that will connect up once we get this all the way around here and we've got stuff from here. Cool, gotcha, no worries. Uh, graveyard, I think, is what we need. I was thinking last time about what we need and where we're going and that sort of thing. And Well, let's just extend this out to here just to make it all neat. Let's put in a well. Because, well, why not? Eh? Eh? Uh, maybe... Mm, yeah. Hmm. I'd like to move these down a bit and just pop it in here, but... That is certainly not going to happen. Well, let's just plonk it there and... work around it. Hey? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Um, okay, cemetery. No chapel. No cemetery. Okay, cool. Now, if I move it back a couple, I can fit some houses in here. Let's just rotate that around. Bam. That's more for guidance than anything else, that one. But that's cool. Because we want to go like this. Make a fucking big one. <laughs> okay, we don't need to make it too big. But we can make it that a big. Uh... What do we want the entrance to be? That's the question. Yeah, that'll do. It's not the best, but it'll do. Um, now, do we want to fill this in, like, just pave this area a bit? I think so. Why not? And the reason I was thinking about this was we can put another house in here. Oh, look how look how that lines up. <laughs> yeah. That was the plan. And then another crop field. Now let's... 12. That's not too bad. I've gotten over trying to make everything 15 by 15. Because that's just not going to happen, no matter what we do. Um, blah, 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 blah. We've got enough of everything still. Cool. Okay, this pasture's finally getting built. This is moving along up here. That's cool. That's good. Uh, let's see now. 
where's our nearest chapel? Because we do want to keep the people happy. And one way to do that is building chapels. There's not one till way over here. Not even there. Over here? I mean, they are fairly large buildings. We shouldn't miss them. One down here. There it is. Yeah, of course. Oh, and we're maxed out, so it's probably about time we did build a chapel. Wow, look at that stockpile going nuts. That's a lot of wood. And firewood, which is good. Good wood? It's good wood. That wood is good. I could do this forever. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll pop a chapel in. Uh, 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 there you are. They are fairly big though, so we're going to have to be careful about where we put it. could put it on here and let the road just go all the way around. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, this one we're just going to go down the list. This is now squash. Uh, we could put a pub in as well. Because that's just how we roll. Why not? <laughs> um... Cool. Uh, let's pump up our farmers again to make sure we've got everyone working. Let's pump up our builders because we do have an excess of labourers thanks to those nomads that came in in the last episode. Now, I'm trying to think. I reckon our next market placement will be around here. Yeah, that sounds fair. Uh, this can be filled with something eventually, but for now we'll just pop a bridge in, like so, and a road to join up to it. Don't give me that. Just, just build it, man. Just build it. Build it like you meant it. Cool, so they're plugging away on this sort of kind of area. Uh, we will put a fishing dock in here like we were going to. Might as well put a clip. Uh, let's get the most water we can. That'll do. Cool. What's your What's your problem? You don't have a job. Is that your problem? You've been assigned a job, but you don't have one. Is that citizens without jobs? Okay, you just don't have a job, so you're laborers. Cool. Labor away then, mofo's. Okay, now what are we going to put in there? That's what we're going to need. Uh, herdsman. I guess we've got to assign stuff first. Okay, so we've got cattle right there. Uh, chickens right there, so I'm assuming sheep. Yeah, let's, let's just go for sheep regardless. Let's make it sheep. Uh, we'll up the herdsman to cover it. And we'll find some sheep that we can split. Perhaps even up this way. Oh, yes. Hello. Split you. <laughs> Off you go. Find your way to the field. Oh good, this tunnel's done. Wow, that's quite the long tunnel, but it's worth it, I think. This one's done as well. Beautiful. Okay, let's road it up. It's purely dedicated here. And just for the fun of it, let's pop a house. House that can work here. Good show. Okay. And that'll cruise up there. And then we want a road to go this way. And we'll continue on with that as we go. So, doing pretty good. I'm quite happy with the way this is setting up. Uh, let's pop in some houses to keep the growth going. Because even though we are you know, a little bit precarious on the food front. We've got a lot of population all of a sudden. We still need to keep pushing it so that we can keep pushing the food and the population and the everything. Just to make sure that it all comes together in the end. And part of the thing I like about Banished is living dangerously. Because it can be so temperamental. It's nice to push it sometimes and just go, you know... Let's let's just push it and really see what we can do. Look at these sheep crawling around the side of the mountain here. 
through the water. <laughs> come on, buddy. <laughs> Look at him go. It's a little baby sheep. Lamb, I guess, is what you'd call it. Surely. <laughs> I do love how they just kind of make a beeline for the next pasture. It's kind of amusing. Cool. Well, we do have a lot of labourers going. We've got builders cooking away on this. Let's up the builders again. And let's go double check our mines and everything. Boop. Zero percent remaining. Beautiful. Okay, so let's just because I'm here. Remove that structure. And let's go up here. Okay, so now 30 workers open for business. 30 workers open for business. So we can... Oh, oh we kind of need 60 miners. 60 miners. Uh, maybe we should actually close this coal one. Because then we'll have 30 in that one. We'll pop back up here. And... We'll up this to 30. Because then we'll have 30 in two mines. If we keep that going for three years, we'll be happy. And we'll get that achievement. Come on, 30, not 25. Why the... Where's the bit there? Come on. We've got 60 miners, so there's... Am I missing something? Reason why there's not 30 in that mine? This one's 25 as well. Who's using the other 10? I don't remember having another mine anywhere. Bridge is kind of superfluous, isn't it? I guess we could put something in over here. But, yeah. Another mine. Where's where's our miners at? Yo. I think I can just. Okay, there's a miner. We've got 60 of these bastards to get through. So we can find where we're going. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go through them all. <laughs> so that now is 29 of 30. 3 of 4. Oh, builders. Stop destroying this building. Yeah, I'm confused why we don't have just 30 of 30 because I've got 60 miners. 60 miners? What's this number? Total number of workers in this profession. Yeah, cool. So we've got 60 workers, and I've only got 60 slots. Maybe this guy's coming to be a miner. Do they have to, like, go to the place before they get the job? I don't know. We'll leave it for a bit and see what happens, and we'll just pop back over here and see what's going on here. Looks like we need a new brewer. And make sure everything else is kosher. Ah, ah. We've got the max of everything. Oh, good. We are using up our nomads. We're getting low on laborers again. Uh, whoop. Now, there was some cherries around here, so let's do cherries. Because we've got cherries down here somewhere. It's chestnuts. Cherry. Cherry. Pear. Yeah, that's cool, whatever. <laughs> What's your problem? Hey? No, what? No citizens are available. I've assigned the jobs, man. I've assigned the jobs. We are going as fast as we can, so... I don't know, maybe it's getting a little bit confused because we're so spread out now. Once these houses are built, we'll start booming the population again. Food is going up again, so it's 54,000 now, which is nice. This bridge has been built, which is good. This chapel's getting built. 
feel like we need another hospital. And if I feel like it, it's probably worth doing. Because my goodness, can we ever have too many hospitals? I don't think so. How do you not have... I don't get it. Cleric, five of six. Eight of eight brewers. Eight of eight. That means there's eight brewer jobs available, and I've got eight people doing it. So why is this... I don't know. If someone can tell me, tell me, because I'm a bit lost with that one. Little bit confused, you could say. Let's continue this road up here. We could probably fit in a good crop field or pasture or something in, on this side of town. It's pretty nice. Uh, let's pop that in now anyway, because why not? Uh... I keep forgetting that crop fields are so small, like, that is the maximum size of crop field. To the point, I'm just going to pop another one right next to it. Even though it won't be as big. But, you know. Still big. <laughs> and we'll pop a road over here. Let's face it, the more uh, crops and everything we get, the better. Oh, we're up to 70,000 food. This is good, this is good. We may need to expand a bit quicker, though. <laughs> let's jump over to the town hall. Now, let's have a look at how many families we've got. 437 families in 326 homes. That is definitely room for expansion there. We have 1,081 citizens. <laughs> we've reached 1080p. That's pretty good. I was hoping to get to 1,000. My goals were get to a thousand citizens and fill the map. So we've already reached one of those goals, unless everyone dies in a horrible catastrophe. But that's pretty good, I reckon. Don't you? <laughs> pretty happy about that, to be honest. Okay, food. Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of going up again, which is nice. Oh, that was a big jump. Let's have a look at the production stat for that. Okay, so we produced 123,000 and we used 110 in the last year, so that's kind of good. In the current year, we've produced 11,000 and we've used 10, so that is a good kind of measure. It shows we're producing more than we're using at this stage, which is nice. Uh, what about things like fire, fuel, firewood, fuel, whatever? We're not quite producing as much as we're using, but overall we are. So at the current point in time we aren't because we're just coming out of winter now we're in the middle of winter so yeah that's fair enough we'll be using a lot more and not um, producing well producing the same amount in theory but eventually once we come out of winter like we're in late winter now once we come out of winter it'll be fine and we'll um, we'll get there <laughs> let's just double check that again firewood yep it is going up so yeah Used up, used up, used up. Cool. Coal's not doing too bad either. Population, there's our nomad intake. <laughs> yeah, see, the thing that always bothers me is just children and students stay fairly flat the whole time, so that's a bit rough. But anyway, enough about that. Let's head back over. Here. Ah, now the bartender is there. Cool. I guess they just take time. Let's check out the mines. 30 of 30. And... 30 of 30. Cool. In three years, we will have that achievement. Provided it all stays cool. Doesn't go, you know, mental on us. Not that there's anything, you know, to be... Not, not that I want to say anything bad about going mental but we don't want our minds to just have issues I guess 
I'm going to stop talking now before I dig an even bigger hole. Thanks for staying. <laughs> uh, now we could kind of house up this side and continue just making this food production vill. Or we could put in another... Actually, yeah, that's what I'll do. I've got an idea. Let's put in a croppy field. No, we're not going to get that far. Yeah, croppy field there. Uh, road. Now we have plenty of families to um, houses ratio, so at the moment we can pretty much expand at our will. As long as we obviously don't go too crazy and mess up our food. So let's pop in some houses here. They can, these guys can be the uh, farmers of this little hood. Cool. Now, what are we missing? We're missing a well. Need that. <laughs> these houses are getting built as well, obviously, so that's cool. They've had a child, which is nice. Our laborers are going up again, which is great. We'll need a barn. Let's pop a barn right there. Oh, this is all coming up. Coming up, Millhouse. I was trying to think of something clever to say, but I couldn't think of it, so we'll just stick to Millhouse. <laughs> yep, so that's cool. Uh, we can probably orchard up this area a bit just to fill in the space. Really? That's really the only reason why I'm doing that. Uh, well, it won't let me place there because there's a... Oh, man. Let's get these guys working on this. I don't like clearing out resources too much, but when I'm trying to actually see where I'm going, that, my friends, is when I do clear out. <laughs> I feel like, even though that's built, I kind of need to put roads in to just make it all marry up nicely. Yeah, just make the stone look nicer, you know? And cemetery, of course. Yes, we are not full, which is great. How's this guy going over here? Oh, oh, we're all built and everything. We've got the house up. Oh, everything's going great. Let's just make sure everything marries up over this side of town. Fishermen, we need four more fishermen. Farmers are good, but everyone else is good. Cool. No stress. Once those farms are built, we'll have to add more farms. We've got 216 farmers. How's that for you? Crazy. Crazy, I tells you. Okay, how about that orchard? Let's, uh, let's just put it in somewhere over here because... Oh yeah, look oh look at that. Uh, that's gonna make things a bit odd. Let's do that. Might be a bit small, but at least it at least it lines up. Cause you gotta have things line up, at least I do anyway, because now this bit of road over here I just remembered. That's where that tree was initially. But yes, we're cool. Okay, good. Farms are farming. Food is at 43,000 and dropping, but we are ready for harvest soon. This sounds like it's going fairly well. They never seem to harvest this. Although I've never seen them harvest it. So let, let's just keep an eye on these bastards and make sure they're actually doing their work. So we are back to 91% yield. you think it would have died off if it hadn't been harvested. Although it does seem weird. Every time I look over here, it looks like it's ready to be harvested. Maybe it's just a graphic thing. I don't know, but we're going to wait this out because that's how stubborn I can be. We're into year 111. Wow. All the ones. 111. Actually, we'll come back and look at that in a sec. Let's just have a quick look at the town hall food because I am kind of worried. Oh, look at that though. That's going well. Oh, we're at the highest we've ever been. At least in the last hundred years. Wow, look at our trials and tribulations along the way. Looks like we're getting... It, it's funny how the uh, the peaks and troughs get far more... Like the frequency goes up, I guess. 
Because look how much we've gone up. We've gone up probably more than our total since the last, you know, harvest started. So it's kind of like eat, 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 harvest. <laughs> You know how it goes, it's pretty, you know, self-explanatory. But I, I like it, I like how it just keeps getting wider and wider and wider. It kind of shows that, yeah, we are boosting. I guess areas like this are where we've kind of boosted the amount of production. I like graphs, what can I say? <laughs> graphs and statistics are interesting to me. So I like that they include them in this game. Because I think they're very helpful and they tell you a lot of useful things. Dangerous thing about graphs, of course, or any kind of statistic, is using it incorrectly or making assumptions that are not, that shouldn't be made. That gets done. Uh, now let's just quickly fill in this area. Surely we can fit another house in here, maybe two? No, just, just the one. And we're kind of done with that area. So that's cool. And we can just kind of wait on this bit to be cleared and built up and... Probably, ooh, that looks like that's gone now, so we could put another orchard in here. No? What's, what's, what's wrong with this? Oh, I put a, a well in there, didn't I? Well, that's not. <laughs> I can put it elsewhere, that's why I deleted it, but I, you know. I want that nice, even space for an orchard. Oh, wow, this can go fairly large, actually. Maybe we should put in... I'm kind of thinking we need another crop field now. Look how much space we can take. Orchards are usually reserved for, like, small, odd uh, parts of land that are kind of hard to get to and around and stuff. Now, let's replant the old well. Nice. Laborers and builders are still holding up. We're still good with all that stuff. Cool. Uh, we may need to put in... We're getting a barn put in here. We're going to put in a market here, I've just decided. Just to kind of take care of this sort of stuff. I think that's a fair enough distance away from the other market down yonder. This one. Yeah, that should be fine. And it'll... It won't encapsulate this entire area, but it'll give these guys somewhere to deliver stuff. How's the barn going? It's filling up fairly rapidly, though. Got a lot of leather and wool. And, ah. It's just beautiful. Fish. I'm glad we got a fish in there. Or a fishing docker, you know. Now I'm just rambling, so it's probably time I closed out this particular session. New physician to keep everyone healthy, because, my god, they'll do everything they can to not be healthy. And let's pop in another house. I know we're going a bit crazy with houses. It does make me feel a little bit nervous. Maybe the, uh, the old whatever cleric and live in that house just across the road. Probably won't happen. Pathing's not that smart, I don't think. <laughs> uh, we did squash. Let's have cabbage. Cool. So this is pumping along nicely. I think we'll be quite happy with how that turns out. Can I fit another one in here? I don't think so. No. Fair enough. It's a fair cop. Now we could put... We can't get a road to it, but we could put stuff here. I guess we could build a bridge. And if we're really stuck, we could squeeze in some more space there, I suppose. I don't want to squeeze anything else in here because that's pretty much done. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, that's where we're going to leave it. <laughs> I feel like we're doing all right. It's kind of like every episode at the moment, we're just pushing forward into the frontier that little bit more. And we're slowly filling up the map. Which is nice. Let's make sure this mine is still going. Yes, 21% remaining. Cool, we're well on our way for that achievement. This one's bound to be still going. Yep, cool, no worries. And we will continue to push along the map. We're about a quarter of the way across the top. Which doesn't sound like much, but... Well, we'll get there eventually. <laughs> 
Yeah. But hey, in the dead of winter, snow falling, the deers in the streets. That's just... Look at that. He's just wandering through like it ain't no thing. It's like, what? I go where I want. And other such jokes that people make. They just... I, is this... No, it's not full. You should be able to go straight here. Take it to the barn, man. No, just leave it. I guess it doesn't matter if it's lying in the snow. It's only if it's, like, sunny and it's going to go off. But if it's cold, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.